We begin again this hour with a story still breaking in London. An explosion on a subway train that police are investigating as a terror incident. Here is some of the key video we're getting this morning from the Parsons Green subway station. The train in the station at the height of rush hour when the explosion occurred. Now here's a closer look at the object. Uh, what police are calling an improvised explosive device. And you see it there in some sort of an insulated bag. This image posted to social media with the user writing, explosion on Parsons Green District Line train. Fireball flew down carriage and we just jumped out the open door. And again, you saw that image. The BBC now reporting there was a timer attached to it and some witnesses have reported seeing wires. Now let's look live at the scene from Sorry, that's not the scene that we want to show you this morning. There we are. Uh, on high, ambulance response, police response, massive investigation underway. We know that actually that number has changed. There are 22 people who have been injured in the train blast, and they are being treated now in four different London hospitals. We are also hearing from the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, who has confirmed that there is a manhunt underway. Wouldn't say whether there was a specific suspect police were seeking. We heard from the uh, assistant commissioner of the Metropolitan Police earlier that they will not say yet whether anyone is in custody, only that the investigation is ongoing. And at the scene of that investigation, let's go to Thomas Dagg, who has the very latest from the ground. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Heather. Police have a large area cordoned off here around uh, the, the park that shares its name. Uh, with Parsons Green uh, tube station where that apparent attack occurred involving that improvised explosive device. Uh, people really just rushing out at uh, the height of uh, rush hour uh, this morning. People described it as a human stampede. Uh, they still have this, this tape up all around as uh, police are here. Uh, 50 firefighters were called to the scene as well as uh, ambience, ambulance crews rushing people to uh, area hospitals. We saw a woman escorted out by police a little earlier uh, this morning. She had her head all bandaged up. It gives you a sense of how serious some of these injuries are and what police are saying about those injuries is most of them are caused by what they describe as flash burns caused by this uh, explosion uh, this morning. Uh, many people, of course, reminded of the so-called 7-7 seven, seven attacks back in 2005 uh, targeting uh, London's uh, underground and, and bus system where uh, dozens of people were killed. It seems at this point this um, likely not a coordinated effort, at least not according to one terror expert we spoke to here on the scene today. The fact that it was carried out in this neighborhood is probably of no significance whatsoever because we don't know whether he, this was deliberately initiated or it was an accident. It's very likely that whoever constructed this bomb, it's obvious they didn't know what they were doing, thankfully, and it's very possible that this went off uh, at a time and place that it wasn't intended to go off. So they are the terror expert, and indeed this is being investigated as a terror attack. Uh, Thomas, we're hearing a couple of additional details on that point, that they're talking to witnesses, they're looking at CCTV security camera footage, uh, doing forensics to try to get a better picture, MI5 involved, and Scotland Yard counterterrorism leading the investigation on this. So we're waiting to hear from Theresa May, the Prime Minister, but while we wait for her, what are you hearing from people there on the scene more, I'm thinking specifically, witnesses to this. Yeah, people were immediately reminded of the four other terror attacks that this country has experienced this year. Of course, the big difference when you think back to uh, the Manchester attack outside that Ariana Grande concert, when you think back to the uh, Westminster attack here in London, London Bridge attack, all at sort of iconic big venues. This one a little different in this residential area at the local tube station, which is actually above ground, despite the name being, of course, an underground station. Here's what one witnesses, oh, two witnesses actually have been telling us today. I just heard screams, like really loud screams, and we ran off. We ran off the train and we were just being shouted to run, and I didn't know why. Yeah, it's still really not sunk in uh, that this has happened here. Um, obviously, you immediately think back to uh, you know, London Bridge and you know, when that happened, uh, yeah, I sort of thank myself for working in a, a more residential family area. 
at least 22 people injured, as you say, Heather. More than 250 people had to rush out of the tube here. But it seems, given what we understand about this improvised explosive device, it could have been much worse and almost was. Indeed, Thomas. Thank you very much.